Hi everyone, I'm Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts and I'm so happy to be here at Fat Quarter Shop Studios. We're taping your next block of the month. Oh, it's month four and we are on block number five. This one, you will be crazy in love with it. I am myself crazy in love with the fabrics as well as the block. Why? Because this month we get to do something that I absolutely love, use triangle paper and we are gonna use this fun triangle paper one and a half inch and the triangle paper we're gonna sew right on the lines it's gonna be fun and easy you are gonna be crazy in love with those believe me so let's choose our fabrics we're gonna do a red pink and three beautiful light notice how gorgeous this fabric is with the gorgeous flowers on it and my favorite the little polka dot fabric this is so so sweet so choose your fabrics and let's cut so let's now cut our fabrics we're gonna start by cutting half square triangle for our B that's super fun and easy we practiced that in month number one and two now a little square there it is that is going to be super simple then we're gonna cut a d for d we're gonna cut a square and we're gonna cut it once diagonally remember you're gonna take your ruler don't forget match your 45 degree angle right here with the edge and cut once diagonally for a two half square triangle this is how you're gonna cut d and this fabric i love it this is gonna be fun to use it it has a little lines and little stripes on it then our square f needs to be also cut once diagonally let's repeat that and see if you can do it with me so cut it and we have two beautiful half square triangles that's gonna be your f now notice we're gonna need three square a's from that beautiful big print they're gonna be right in the middle of your block and the last one c and for c you can choose two options you can cut half square triangles and then sew them the traditional way in the pattern you have two different directions or you can do what i like to do cut a beautiful squares and i cut two of them i cut a five inch in pink five inch in light place them right sides together then place my paper right over just like this take a pin put it in the center right there and the next step i'm gonna sew on the dotted lines let me show you how i do that this is how you're gonna make your half square triangle units so what i did i sew it right on the lines and when you're sewing on a paper you need to uh, make your stitches a little bit tighter together closer together why because you want the needle to break the paper for you and I use the same Macrotex needle for this you could use thicker needle but really is not necessary for such a small a little bit of piecing you just use that same needle go around it then what you're going to do is cut on a straight lines and then right there diagonally and you end up with beautiful half square triangle what we are going to do let me show you how i cut it i first cut all on the straight line then right here diagonally on this straight line right there and notice that i make half square triangles press them and i press them with the paper on it trim trim and peel the paper away from the back just like this look at it and i have a perfect half square triangle unit ready set go for my block so that is what i would like you to do it as soon as you prepare those we are ready to make our units we are going to do so this was our triangle that we have created the first we're going to do um 
uh, sew a small triangle to the top then another one on the side right here this is gonna go together and notice it I like to place my triangle right over put a pin onto it we talk about it in one of our previous videos and this time I'm gonna flip it this way and sew it straight from here straight down and finish it up as soon as I finish I'm going to press it beautifully and add a light triangle to that and we're gonna make two units with this triangle and two units with the polka dot triangle so notice that we are making all of those two and four two and four so total six units like this it's time to lay out our block let me show you how to do that oh i am so excited <clears throat> I have my squares so those are always go first I like to lay them on the angle just like this and I kind of pay attention to the balance of color notice it's a big print so when you are cutting you don't have a control where the fabric goes sometimes so what I'm looking at this has less of the flower I balance the big flowers on each side did you notice that then I'm gonna add the units that we just finished and remember just like in our previous lesson what you're going to do before you lay out your block square things out square things out so three and a half inch always when you finish you square out all of the units and now add this one right here look at our block looks delightful we're going to sew three rows together row one two and three you're going to push the seam allowance towards the center towards the outside towards the outside right here so this to this this to this and we just complete another block for our beautiful quilt so crazy in love you are have this block right here look at how beautiful it is and you will make four of those blocks for your quilt i absolutely love it and i hope just like me you'll be in crazy in love with making husker triangle on this fun triangle paper and i look forward to see you next month for another block